Three years ago, St Mark's Church in Stoke got a new vicar, the Reverend Sally Smith. It was typical, really, of a church in a post-industrial city, just a handful in the congregation on a Sunday morning of mainly white people. But that soon changed. A growing number of asylum seekers were arriving in Stoke. And Sally couldn't turn her back on the new influx of people to her area. We opened the door to welcome people in to a drop-in where people could come and have a cup of tea, a piece of toast. No, I go home. Some of those have responded to the kindness that they've encountered and they've wanted to learn more about Jesus, so they've started to come along and worship with us and become part of the life of the church. And so we have regular baptisms now. Receive the sign of his cross. And we've done around 60 baptisms this year, and probably 50 of those are from a Muslim background. Amen. One of the questions I often get asked is, aren't they just doing this to get their papers? And I, as a follower of Jesus, and as a minister, as a priest, I have to say, um, what would I want for this person in front of me? How would Jesus respond to this person in front of me now? Riches of his grace. Zahir already has a visa to stay in the UK, but he still chose to be baptised. I was very happy. I can't describe my feelings. I'm going to change to a new version of me. With a growing congregation of asylum seekers, Sally saw a new need, and the solution was on her doorstep. There was a house across the road from the church, which um, I brought. I had some money in the bank, which wasn't earning any interest. We were able to buy that house and do it up with the help of volunteers who come along to the drop-in, who have many, many skills. Now it provides accommodation for people who are completely destitute. I get contacted by churches around the country who've seen things about us in the media and have said exactly the same things happening here in our church, not just Anglican churches. Nice. There is something happening around not only this country but around Europe, um, a spiritual awakening. Jalal was a TV engineer in Iran. He says that installing systems into people's houses which allowed them to tune into foreign news made him a target for the regime. Everything has changed in our lives now. Our lives are full of joy, hope, love, kindness, peace. Life used to be based on fear, but now it's totally changed. There's a prophecy um, in the book of Isaiah that talks about the wealth of the nations coming to us and about foreigners rebuilding our cities and building up our walls that have been broken down. And I believe that asylum seekers and refugees are the wealth of the nation. And not everyone will see that, but we need to be able to see through the eyes of the prophet and we need to see the gifts and the skills and the abilities and the treasure that's coming to us and to welcome them. They've brought new life to my church and I wouldn't change one moment of what's happened over the last couple of years.